To begin the mount installation process for the tiled series mounts from Chief, determine which reference point will be used. For on-wall installations, the reference point will be room dependent, but most likely the edge of your tiled wall will be some point measured from the floor or corner of the room. Once the layout of the video wall has been determined using your site installation drawing, reference the instruction manual provided with one of the chief mounts. The manual provides layout drawings with outer dimensions for common video wall configurations. The installation and layout drawings can be used to determine where power may be located behind the video wall. Additionally, the chief drawings provide references to the vertical and horizontal center line of the LED displays. These measurements coincide with slot references built into the mounting system itself, allowing for faster and easier installation. The tiled series mounts arrive fully assembled and can hold up to five panels depending on the model. The mounts also come with all the mounting hardware for common substrates and additional tools needed for the installation are shown. Use the measurements from the instruction manual to determine the location for the first mounting point on the column that you intend to start on. Then draw a level line and reference the manual for the distance to the adjacent upper mounting point. This installation site has plywood backed wood studs, which requires a 7 seconds inch pilot hole. The chief tiled solutions allow installers to begin hanging mounts at the center or edge of the planned video wall. After the pilot holes are drilled, start the top leg screws but do not fully tighten. Before hanging the mount, use four quarter 20 by half inch button head screws to attach two horizontal connector brackets to the appropriate side of the mount. For example, if you're starting with the center column of the video wall, prepare the mount by adding the horizontal connectors to both sides of the mount. If you're starting on a column to the right of center, the connectors will be attached to the left side of the mount. In our installation, we'll be adding the connector brackets to the right side of the mounts as shown. Now, hang the first mount utilizing the teardrop slots and slide the mount to the desired position. Then, slide the left and right adjustment washers into place. Check to see if the mount teardrop slots are level on the first mount. Tighten one mounting point utilizing the height adjust washer. Check to ensure the mounting slots are level. If not, you can slide or lightly tap the washer on the opposing side of the mount to make height adjustments. Verify the mount is perfectly level and tightened. Next, drill the pilot holes for the lower mounting points in the center of the mounting slots. Install the lower leg bolts with fender washers to secure the lower mounting points. Now check the mount to ensure it is level vertically. If an adjustment is needed, loosen the lower legs and re-tighten in the level position. Complete the first mount by placing the level on the face of each upright. To plumb the mount uprights, use a ratchet with a deep well socket to make adjustments.
compare the adjacent mounts with the horizontal connector brackets as previously described. Once the brackets are installed, partially install two quarter twenty by half inch button head screws and washers to the corresponding holes on the adjoining mount. Hang the mount on the horizontal connector as shown and tighten the connector screws with the provided ball end hex wrench. Support the far end of the mount by hand and drill the pilot holes on the level line that had been previously drawn. Slide the adjustment washers behind each lag bolt and partially tighten. Then, use the level to check the alignment of the mounting slots between the first and second mount. If a height adjustment is required, loosen the screws for the horizontal connectors and tap the adjustment washers on each side with a mallet until the slots are perfectly level. Retighten the connector brackets and continue affixing the second mount to the wall as previously described. At this point, place a level across the faces of the uprights on the first mount. Use the depth adjustment on each upright of the adjacent mount until all uprights are approximately planar to one another. Proceed by installing the remaining mounts in this manner until you have completed the entire row. Again, use the adjustments built into the design of the mount to adjust the height so that the mounting slots for the panels will be perfectly level with one another. Now we will place a level on the face of each of the mount uprights. We will use the depth adjust knobs to level the mounts vertically, working our way back to the first mount. Next, we'll use a tapping screw and partially connect to the left upright on the left side of the video wall matrix. Route a plumb line around the screw head and tighten. Connect the plumb line similarly to the right upright in the last column. Attach a secondary plumb line near the lower adjustment points on the mounts. Recheck, and if necessary, adjust the vertical level of the outermost uprights in the video wall. Then adjust the depth of each upright to the plumb line in the center of the video wall. To center the LED cabinets, install one 1024 by half inch Phillips tapping screw into the hole adjacent to the upper left mounting slot for each LED display. These screws provide a positive stop for the mounting button. Install the first LED cabinet into the teardrop mounting slots in the lower left corner of the video wall. To stack the first column, slide the panel all the way to the right and insert the adjacent panels into the mounts. Then, slide the entire column to the left to install the lower row. Once the row is installed, recheck the plumb and level before filling out the video wall matrix. Once the entire video wall is installed, 
Many LED manufacturers have interconnections between display cabinets that should be connected. Side lock screws are provided and may be added to either side of the video wall matrix. These screws lock out any lateral shift of the video wall and prevent removal of the displays. With the video wall matrix alignment complete, route the power and data cables. Once the LED cabinets are installed and connected, you may add the LED modules. Most LED manufacturer modules connect magnetically and commonly have minor depth adjustments built in. The Chief Tiled Video Wall Mounting Solution is expandable and configurable for your space. You may add vertical connector kits as previously shown to build out the wall vertically. Columns may also be added to either side of an existing wall by ordering additional mounts. Also, there are trim kits and power options available through LeGrand AV. This completes the installation of the new Tiled Series mount solution from Chief.